I think it will be against Oklahoma if they are to get it. The good news for Arkansas, as young as they are, Oklahoma might be younger. Let's take a look at our one-on-one. -on -one. Well, when you look at Oklahoma, the, the two freshman starting guards is what concerns you if you're Lon Kruger. The reason why in this building you can start playing. Kruger said Romero Osby did not handle it very well. So he wants to just send a little bit of a message. And all, all that is is making sure that that doesn't happen again in a meaningful ball game in conference play. Romero Osby is a terrific teammate. He's had a terrific season so far, but Long Kruger says, you know what, I'm counting on your leadership. Just sit here for a little while tonight and let that last technical sit in place. I like the move by Long Kruger. Oklahoma Sooners in the middle of a three-game winning streak. Coming up a win against Northwestern State a couple of days ago. Meanwhile, the Razorbacks, as we alluded to, in the middle of a three-game losing streak right now. They lost to Syracuse a couple of nights ago, and we are underway. Cousins controlling the tip for Oklahoma. Mike Anderson, the head coach for the Razorbacks, talked about having to step up their defense a little bit, Jimmy, coming into tonight's game. Well, it, it's unpredictable, random trapping defense out of Arkansas in the full and the half court. And by with an emphatic slam to start the game for the Sooners. I think Oklahoma's forwards, Mbai being one of them, are very good, Mark, at moving without the basketball and attacking both off the bounce and, and with their feet without the ball. Arkansas wants to play a high possession game. Anywhere between 70 and 75 shot attempts. That's going to be a blocking foul against Fitzgerald to the Sooners. He picks up his first team first. Ahmad Mbai, again, five or six times a game, they will run that little side ball screen action and just automatically slip it. And if that weak side defense isn't there in time, this time it's B.J. Young not on the line, you'll give up a layup. And by a big addition, former transfer from Wyoming. Meanwhile, Marshawn Powell going to the foul line for the Arkansas Razorbacks. He's a 78% free throw shooter on the season, coming off a 19.7 rebound game in that loss against Syracuse in their last game. Jimmy, what are his strengths? Uh, well, Powell's a guy that can get fouled, first of all. He's a double-figure scorer. Uh, he's kind of like the forward for Oklahoma. He's a post-driver is what he is, not a back-to-the-basket guy. Pretty good on the point of the press where he is now. And you'll see Arkansas get that press on after a made bucket. Wagner with good ball pressure against Cousins. Wagner is small, and his hands are always at ball level, and Cousins doesn't mess around with it. Boy, Cousins Cous got all the way to the bucket. Yeah, that's, that's, that's too easy. I mean, Cousins so far, two possessions in a row, very comfortable against the pressure of Arkansas. Going out to a two-point lead, Powell thought about it. Here's Young working a little two-man game. I think he can go under every ball screen of Arkansas because they're only shooting 26% from the three-point line. And there's their leading three-point shooter blocked, but a whistle and a foul prior to that. An offensive foul against Arkansas. Ron Kruger, head coach of the Oklahoma Sooners in his second year on the sidelines. Former head coach at uh, Texas Pan American, Kansas State, Florida, Illinois, Atlanta Hawks, and ooh, and by with an explosion to the bucket. And Mike Anderson wants to talk things over. That, again, way too easy down Main Street. Sitting out last year and uh, finally on the court now. What I like about that, from Bordeaux, France, to Laramie, Wyoming. <laughs> I mean, at, for, you know what I'm saying? Born in Bordeaux, France. That's wine country, right? Yeah, well, and then you end up in Laramie, Wyoming, which is not wine company. <laughs> and uh, you transfer to Oklahoma. But he's a player. He's an athletic, quick forward that can score that ball. Making an early impact in the Razorbacks. Jimmy turn it over out of the timeout. Cousins kicks it back to Pledger. And Pledger with the miss. Even Pledger's a guy that's got to get going for the Oklahoma Sooners. Young thought about it, a little show and go. Mark, I think Oklahoma's half-court defense is really good. I mean, they get on the line, they get up the line, they talk, they, they help with their feet. A lot of things I like about their defense. And Mickelson with that face-up jump shot, which he's capable of hitting. He had five and three against Syracuse. He could very well be the number three scorer for Arkansas as the season goes on. Young will be number one, Powell will be two. Mike Anderson looking for that third score. It's a young team. Good dogged defense by Wade. Now, Drake is Wade and... Mike Anderson in his second season on the sidelines, former head coach at Missouri. Now coming back, former player here. He has great lineage and history. Former associate head coach under 
Nolan Richardson here at Arkansas. Mike Anderson's style is, is, is to design to win the last six minutes of the game and wear you down. Syracuse won the game here Friday night, but afterwards Jim Beheim said, we are worn out from playing that pressure against Arkansas for 40 minutes. A game that was up in the 90s. Long jumper by Powell is good. Marshawn Powell, a 30% three-point shooter, finds the mark. Only his fourth one on the year. And again, Arkansas, a 26% three-point team. If you're Oklahoma, make them prove they can make those shots for the next two hours. And Jimmy, they force their first turnover. That is what really kind of makes their offense go as well. Yeah, ab absolutely. I mean, they're going to get threes. The, the, the scramble defense gives them open floor opportunities to knock down threes. They get their defense set. Young squeezes one off. Off the mark. Powell with a sweet spin yeah. move. Sweet and quick. You asked me about Marshawn Powell. That's the one word I didn't use to describe him, but he's very quick, spinning back to that left shoulder. Well done. Nice to see him come back from a couple of serious injuries, a foot injury his freshman year and torn ACL last year. Crowded in the paint. That ball out of bounds. There was a scrum in the middle there. As Arkansas now in the middle of a 7 nothing run. It's going to be Oklahoma basketball. Mike Anderson said that he liked the depth of his team, though, their speed and the tempo they've been playing that. He needs improved defense and shooting. Here's Cousins. Arkansas now in their 1-1-3 zone, which they like to play about half the time so far, half of their possessions. Cousins with a clean look. And rebounded by Wade. There's Powell. The Oklahoma not overextending. They're really, they're, they're gap heavy right now in their defense. Madden's jumper no good. And here come the Sooners. A run out. They've got numbers of three on two. Pledger for three. And he's 0 for 2 from downtown. Fitzgerald has his back with the putback. What all Fitzgerald does against Arkansas is put up numbers. The last two years, he's averaged 17 points and 10 rebounds against the Hawks. Kind of a below-the-rim guy that plays with, with great tenacity and grit. Interesting. We talked about Arkansas with their youth in the starting lineup. Oklahoma has three returning starters, but the interesting thing is for most of the year, they're coming off the bench. Fitzgerald, one of them. Yeah, the, the younger players are better players right now. Here's Powell with nine on the shot clock, putting it on the deck, putting on a clinic. Wow, he did a little curly kneel act. Jonesy, I, I think he bounced the ball seven or eight times in that possession before he got to the rim. Very unusual for a kid his size. Hard double team, and they force another turnover. Count the number of bounces for Marshawn Powell. Six, seven, six, eight, and active. You getting paid by the bounce here? Two, three. If he is, he's making Mark Jones money. Big time. <laughs> Feeding this disease as well. The recipient of the 2012 Coaches versus Cancer Champion Award presented annually to the college coach significantly engaged in the program's fundraising, education, and promotional initiatives. He's actually raised over $750,000 to support the American Cancer Society. Well, I've been saying. Bravo. Yeah, absolutely. I've been saying for the last four or five days, a lot of big important games on our air this week nothing is more important than 100 percent of the donations go to cancer research please call in again strong move inside by clark Cody clark one of those guys that's made a contribution early in the season here for arkansas five point lead for the razorbacks an 11-2 run lon kruger goes to sam grooms now Older kid at the point guard spot that just absolutely doesn't turn it over. He will get significant minutes in this game, number one for Oklahoma because of it. A leader in the conference in the Big 12 in assisted turnover ratio. This jumper, Osby inside and one to stop the bleeding temporarily off the Buddy Heald miss. That foul against Cody Clark. Osby will try and complete the three-point play. Well, th that's a weak box out by Arkansas and a weaker foul at the rim by Clark. And Arkansas has been better this year at keeping people off the offensive glass. But that time, Osby's a guy that, you know, he's an older kid. He understands it, that it's, it's okay to box off as an offensive rebounder, just like you teach in defense, and that's what he did. Ledger's going to take a seat now for Lon Kruger. As Cameron Clark comes into the ballgame, the 6'6 junior out of Sherman, Texas. 
Foul out of the gate early and often for the Razorbacks. Now getting a breather. That jumper off the mark by Wade. Who does this tempo favor so far, Jimmy? If anybody. Well, I, I don't think it's been established yet. Okay. Because, you know, Oklahoma, obviously, they don't want to allow Arkansas to get up 66, 68, 70 shots of ball game like they've been doing. And you do it if you give them the ball off turnovers, and that's just what they've done. They created another one. Young kicks it out to Madden. Wade with the drive. Fouled. And he'll go to the line for a pair. Mardrakis Wade, the 6'2 junior out of Memphis, Tennessee. We'll get a pair. Mark, you saw Mardrakis Wade uh, hesitant to fire up a three because it's a pretty good look. And this is a kid that led the SEC in three-point percentage last year at the free throw stripe right now. Didn't take a lot of shots. His game confidence as a three-point shooter is gone. And the only way you get it back is to make meaningful shots now in ball games. His confidence will not get back in practice. He will have to make shots in games to get back where he was. Mike Anderson run a couple things for him to try and get him off a little bit. Is that part of the strategy, perhaps? Well, I think he's done it already. He missed a wide open one, and you know, Wade's a guy that's got to play hard. If you play hard in all the other areas, then all of a sudden that shot gets in rhythm for you. And you don't play hard for Mike Anderson. You let the uh, the bench talk to your rear end for a little <laughs> bit. The pass hey. is 40 minutes in basketball. That's what they build. Arkansas on pace right now. They shoot about 51 or 52 shots in this game. So the game is not going as fast as they want it to go. Neal had a clean look but missed it. Tyler Neal. One of those returning players for Oklahoma. Both teams will go deep into their respective benches. There's Scott who's in the ball game. Again, Oklahoma have re they've really shrunk the floor defensively, giving Arkansas three-point shots. And missing another three ball. It's been one of their weaknesses, a three on two now. But he field, threw it away. Bell, good hustle in transition on defense, knocks it out of bounds. It'll be Oklahoma basketball. Oklahoma coming off a victory against Northwestern State in their last game, 69 to 65. Buddy Heal did, did not read the free throw line as a yield sign and let the defense dictate what he should have done. That time he should have stopped and let the wings go ahead and finish the run action. Arkansas, Jimmy. Look like they switched up to their zone again here. Again, about 50% of the time, Mike Anderson is using this so far this season. They don't have a rim protector, so he goes to this zone just to keep you off balance. That's not necessarily something he wants to do a lot of, is it? A three ball good by Antoine Bell, the three-point sniper. That's what he does best. And now the biggest lead of the ball game for Arkansas at seven. But Jones, I think Arkansas has to play some zone this year because they're a small club that just can't hold up man to man for 40 minutes. What a great rebound, Jimmy, that time by Qualls. Quick in transition. Bell missed one. Great hustle by Arkansas for another possession. Jumper on the way, no good by Qualls again. But that's exactly the possession that Mike Anderson wants. He got a good look out of transition from three. He got an extra possession off a loose ball rebound, a 50-50 ball, and another open look. Osby inside off the two-man game. And Osby making an impact since coming into the ball game, usually a starter. Fitzgerald starting in place of him tonight. They are so good at slipping that on-ball action from the outer third of the floor. Talking about Osby and Imba. And on the baseline. Nice feed to Clark for an easy one. And here comes the press. Arkansas leading by seven. Boy, Neal might have had a shot, but the fact that he missed the last two might have played into that one. Out of bounds, and the big news besides these hogs is. Well, Jimmy Dykes is trying to figure out who exactly they were going to hire as their head coach on the football side of the ledger. I think Jimmy's spelling it out for you, folks. Back with more after this. Full bowl of Rose Bowl appearances and a former player at Iowa, former head coach now at Wisconsin, coming to the SEC. Has taken on a t different type of challenge. Has created quite a buzz in this part of the country. And all those names I had on the board at some point, I think everyone in college football was mentioned for a job opening at Arkansas. 
and Bielema comes out of nowhere today. I think a home run hire by the AD Jeff Long. You're getting a guy that believes in a physical brand of football, a powerful brand of football, road greater size offensive lineman that you have to have in the SEC. Yeah, the SEC is a line of scrimmage league. Yeah, absolutely. That put back good by Clark. You know, I don't even think it matters, Jimmy. Yet all those names on the board doesn't matter if you're the first choice or not. I don't think I was my wife's first choice. Well, I, I know you. And it's worked out pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I know you weren't, and I'm pretty sure Brett Bielema was was right. With, Jeff Long got the guy that he wanted. And you haven't heard an analyst across the nation today say that that was not a home run hire by Jeff Long. Madden with the bucket to make it. 22 to 50. The upset of college basketball so far this season is Baylor's women losing. Yeah. Absolutely. On either side, men's or women's, right? Yeah, well, yeah, right. but Brittany Griner to, to take a loss was <laughs> shocking to most of us. Arkansas creates another turnover. And Jonesy, they're scoring off the turnovers. That's going to be a traveling violation against Cody Clark. That was the fifth turnover forced by Arkansas, and nine points off of those turnovers. Jimmy, you talked about Oklahoma being able to slip those screens on the two-man game. How does Arkansas counter that? Well, they got to stay attached to the guy that's setting the screen. Okay. Because right now, the, the on-ball action is not killing you. It's the slip action that's killing you. That time, Cousins got freed with the ball screen, missed the jumper. Clark with another possession for the Sooners. If you're Oklahoma, Jones, you, you want your turnovers, if you have them, to be dead ball turnovers where you throw the thing out of bounds and not let Arkansas get ripping and running on you. Here comes Scott in transition. That time the Sooners back in defense on transition. And there's an Arkansas turnover by Clark. Powell, meanwhile, coming back into the ballgame for Arkansas. He's been out of the gate quickly here early and often, Jim. Well, he's coming back off of an ACL injury and really game by game as I watch this young man early in the season, he's getting better from half to half. He was better in the second half against Syracuse than he was in the first half. And he's out of the blocks right now with nine points. In he's, just five minutes. Well, he, he, he's quick. He has a good degree of toughness about him, and he's wired to score. David has uh, at times been the subject of fitness issues, and his weight has been a conversation piece, but dropped some 30 pounds a little over a year ago and has been in good shape ever since, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. There's Romero Osby working on the mismatch, kicks it out. Hornbeek missing. Boy, a couple of hands up above the rim for the rebound out of bounds. It'll be Razorback basketball. I love I love the aggressiveness of Arkansas trapping on the block, but I didn't like to trap at all. And when you come over to trap a kid like Osby, you got to get shoulder to shoulder and trap the breath out of that post. And they allowed they allowed the pass to come out of it. Bell on the drive, took it up against two defenders, got blocked by Isaiah Cousins. And here's Cousins in transition. Clark with the jumper. Osby, another offensive rebound and fouled on the putback. Romero Osby, last year, one of the leaders in the Big 12 Conference on the offensive glass, showing that skill right there. No, he's the only Oklahoma player with more made free throws than made field goals. Think about that. Wow. More made free throws on the year than made field goals. That tells you about his game. He's a powerful, quick kid that can post drive you, get on the offensive glass, and get himself to that charity strike. Osby, a 74% free throw shooter. Suffered through some foot issues last year. At times had to be in one of those protective boots. But telling me earlier today, he's healthy and ready to go for a successful senior season. Key for Osby is to stay on the floor. Right now he's averaging, he fouls once every 7 minutes and 45 seconds that he's out there. And Oklahoma doesn't have a lot of depth on that front line. He must stay on the floor. Made down to five points. Hey, what does it say about Arkansas, Jimmy, that Young hasn't scored yet, and they're leading by five points? Well, it, it, I think it's a concern because Oklahoma's doing a good job of checking Young, and I'm not sure they can win a ball game if B.J. Young is not getting close to his average. And right now, he didn't. He can't even get a sniff. Evidence there that Powell may have cooled off a little bit after that hot nine-point start. Approaching eight minutes to go in the first half. Good ball movement. And by on the baseline, bucket good, and Oklahoma making a move here. Hornbeak with the layup. We're taking advantage of Arkansas, trapping in the half court, and the, and the second pass out of it results in points. That's how you always can beat a trap, Mark. It's not the first pass out. It's the second pass out that Oklahoma was really good at. 
nobody does. Settle for a jump shot. Read the numbers and make the right read. And then not in by does the perfect thing. He takes up the slack of the defense and becomes two on one at the rim. Does a terrific job of not settling for an open three-point shot from a kid that's 0 for 6 so far this season. Well done by Imba. Here's Pledger. Pledger's been quiet offensively for the Sooners. His number's down a little bit this year. Imba, nice spin on the baseline. Pledger with a drive. Tough pass in traffic. And Osby had it stripped away. Here come the Razorbacks. Howell had nine points in the first five minutes, hasn't scored since. And the guy that's conspicuous by his silence offensively so far is that guy. Pardon me, it's B.J. Young. Big fellow Mickelson knocks down his second field goal. What I like about Mickelson, he's a legit 6'10 with, with good instincts to flash to pockets. And the more aggressive he becomes as far as a shooter, the better Arkansas is. And Arkansas forcing another turnover. Good show that time by Mickelson on the two-man game. Well, Soft Mick touch offensively, too, Jimmy. Well, but, but I love his feet. Boom, the flash. Boom, the face up, the step back. That's terrific footwork, Jonesy, by a kid 6'10". I'd almost like to see his feet again. How good he was at catching and stepping up with a shake back step up is not easy to do. There's Young off the ball screen. Mickelson working against Osby. Young with a nice spin. Tough shot. Rebounded by Powell. A lot of hands up there. Someone might have got a piece of that. And here comes Oklahoma. Boy, Mickelson didn't go for the fake. And here come the Hogs on the run. Wade. And Wade gets the easy bucket. But all triggered, though, by the play of, of Mickelson to not only be the second guy off the floor and block the shot, but he made a terrific outlet pass to Martrakis Wade. That was the first fast break bucket of the game for Arkansas. And a nice block by Mickelson on Hornby. Mickelson's playing with his hair on fire. And when he plays like that, he's a good SEC player. Young guy or just a sophomore. Here's Madden. See, Young is being checked. Mark by guys same size tonight. Those 6'3, six, 6'4 six, guards of Oklahoma are getting right up in his grill. What's the adjustment he's going to have to make then? Well, he's going to have to be a, do a better job of moving without the ball. Osby looks like he'll get the and one. Romero Osby with a sweet left handed finish. That brings the Sooners a little bit closer. Fouls against Hunter Mickelson. Free throw shooting. His second foul. Free throw shooting so important when you play Arkansas. And here's why I say that. Arkansas is attempting 29 free throws per game. Arkansas gets fouled a lot. On the flip side, Arkansas fouls a lot. Arkansas opponents are attempting 25 free throws per game. So free throw shooting in this building against Arkansas is crucial. Now Oklahoma with a little three-quarter court pressure. Lead down to four. The Razorbacks have led for most of the first half. 14 fouls against Arkansas, two against Oklahoma. Young straight away to Clark, and Clark knocks down the three-pointer. Clark is a 33% three-point shooter on the season. Looking to move that north a little bit. Sam Grooms running the point. And on the run, here comes Arkansas. Powell and one. Marshawn Powell. I want to say Arkansas drops this ball through the net with about 31 or 32 still on the shot clock. That's how quickly they can run it right up at you. And it's a really good decision by Clark to slow down and give it to Powell in step and in rhythm so he did not have to put the ball on the floor with that one defender back. This is the free throw and by fouled and Took a hard foul. That's a. Uh, take one more look at this. It's like yeah, he's going to be against Clark. Yeah, Clark. Clark got him with a leg and initiated the contact. You always officiate the defense. 
you officiate the defense. I learned that at an SEC officials clinic about two summers ago. I went down and was with them for three days, and they are always officiating the defense. And well done. Got that one right. Under five minutes to go in the first half. Arkansas by nine. Tyler Neal back in for the Sooners. How does Stephen Pledger get going for Oklahoma? He's a key component for them at both ends, but especially offensively, Jimmy. You know, he's a better overall player this year for Oklahoma, but his numbers are down. Mm -hmm. And there's Powell on the break. That is the reason he's not playing point guard. Lost the handle out of bounds, but it'll stay Arkansas basketball. And, and back to Pledger, I mean, I, I think he's a little bit like B.J. Young in this game. I mean, you cannot guard yourself at all in this ball game. The, the defensive pressure is too tough on him. Young missed that shot and inside the paint. And Pledger back the other way for Oklahoma. Now, Pledger's got to move, what I'm talking about. He, he has stood ever since he gave that ball up. He has not stood, and they throw it right back to him in the same spot he was in when he gave it up. That's just his third field goal attempt of the game, and he knocks it down for three. And if you allow him to rhythm dribble into a shot, he's a very, very good shooter out of that big 12. Young that time fouled on the play against Jalon Hornbeek. Six-point game. Hogs with the lead when we come back. With Dockage, I tell you what's wrong with, with, with Kentucky. They're young, mm -hmm. and they don't have a point guard. And that's always going to equate to getting jacked in the nose early. But remember this about Calipari's team. They always, they always get better as the season goes on. Rick Pitino's teams always get better as the year goes on. So I'm not sure how high the ceiling is for Kentucky when it's all said and done, but he will get them to whatever they're going to be at, I promise you. In transition, Oklahoma off the steal gets the layup from Hornbeek. And by the way, back to the Wildcats uh, earlier today, Paul Biancardi saying that uh, they got a verbal commitment from number three junior in the country, Paul Towns, a 6'11 big man. And here comes Hornbeek again. Oh, and a hard foul. That's going to be a flagrant. And by the look of it, I'd be a flagrant too. Well, and I thought Hornbeek took an awkward step. Right there. Oh, see the left knee? And thankfully, he's up and walking. And let's watch again the action. Ooh, he turned his ankle, too, on that. Oh. Didn't quite plant well. Yeah, that's a, again, you have to stay on top of your discipline no matter how competitive you get. And that was an easy flagrant one call on Kai Matt. Hornbeek uh, knocks down the foul shot, a 63% free throw shooter. This is the closest that the Sooners have been in a while. Madden will go to the bench. In comes to Quavius Wagner, the freshman who got the start earlier tonight. Mark, fouling or flagrant fouling always negates effort it always negates your effort and you have to stay on top of those situations within the moment and the, and, and the, the good players the most disciplined guys understand it and they do it well Arkansas back to the zone off the baseline out of bounds that's what they've done the entire ball game so far Oklahoma had the chance to get to within one here Jimmy cross court lob and Cam Clark the high leaping Cam Clark makes it a one-point game you have to figure that Long Kruger in the last timeout said, okay, they're throwing zone at us every time off the baseline out of bounds. The next time we get it, we're running our lob play, and they convert it well. Balls inside to Powell. Powell's been held in check since that quick start. Look at the defense. I mean, all, every red jersey almost has a foot in the lane. And Powell steps out and knocks down a three. Well, and you have to take that shot if you're Marshawn Powell. 30% on the year, but they are daring you to shoot the ball. They're giving you space. Oklahoma now four for ten from downtown, Jimmy, improving on their season average. Brooms on the drive. Cam Clark determined to get to the bucket and fouled by Qualls. So Cam Clark starting to make things happen at the offensive end for Oklahoma. Look at Oklahoma's defense. They're, they're, actually, what they're saying is shoot threes. Prove that you can knock down threes. And that time the guy coming out on Powell was hands down, allowed Powell to get easy vision of it. 
If Arkansas continues to shoot the ball, Lon Kruger will make an adjustment at halftime and start pressing out on a 26% three-point club. I'll tell you what, Arkansas, Jimmy, trying to turn the tables on the three-point ball a little bit. They were on the other end of it against Syracuse in that game a few days ago right here yeah. at Bud Walton Arena. Sutherland knocked down, what was it, seven or eight threes against Nine. him? Nine. Nine. I lost count. Yeah. He shot 97% in terms of effective field goal percentage against Arkansas in this building Friday night. Two-point contest. Wagner, nice key to Powell for the finish. And he's got 16, a game high. Powell doing a little bit of everything for Arkansas. Grooms goes off glass over the shorter Wagner. Boy, and you allow a non-scoring point guard, Grooms, to get points on the board. Big story of the first half is that B.J. Young has yet to score. And on cue, he gets his first bucket. You asked me about four minutes ago, what does B.J. Young have to do to get going offensively? And I said he's got to start moving harder without the ball and quit guarding himself. That's a good hard basket cut by Young. Grooms gets the switch. Going to go to work on Powell here. Fletcher hit his last one. Now one of four from the field. Good hustle, though, by Neal. And now the Sooners with another possession. About one and a half to go now in the first half. Osby goes with it quick. Push off. And that's going to be an offensive foul against Romero Osby. His first personal for Oklahoma. That's the team fifth. Mark, the guys are going to talk about it at halftime. What's wrong with Kentucky? That, that, that's an easy call. Lower your shoulder and extend your arm. I hear the ground, the ground swell conversations already in college ball. There is no great team. There is no dominant team. First of all, who cares? <laughs> who cares that there is no great team the first week of December? The national title trophy is not going to say you won it, but there was no great team this year. And you start plugging in a game tape of Indiana or Florida or Michigan uh, or Louisville and start breaking them down, you'll start readjusting what you think about college basketball this year because it is very hard to game plan and beat those teams, I promise you. Great point. Off the miss, Oklahoma basketball down by four, under a minute to go. Boy, Grooms really seems to have a nice handle on this team for Oklahoma coming off the bench. On the baseline, Osby, and he makes it a two-point contest. Hey, another reason why Oklahoma is right in this ballgame, they are not fouling Arkansas. Arkansas has not shot even close to the number of free throw attempts they normally do in a half. Normally that's about 12 or 13. Yeah, they've only shot five so far. You can defend your tail off without fouling. That's all you can ask on the road. And Ron's going to like what he's seen from his guy for the most part. Off the kick up, Powell, why not? Uh, got it. That jumper's wet. What a half for Powell. And will the adjustment now for Oklahoma's defense in the second half be to start pushing out on Arkansas's perimeter? Something we'll have to watch. Osby with an answer. A long two for Romero Osby with his fifth field goal. And a good way to punctuate the end of a high-scoring first half for both teams above their average. But Powell with 19 in the first half is high on the season. Right now we're going to go to the studio for the Land Rover Halftime Report. Guys? Well, Chris Cotter and the coach, Stan Dockett, here with the Land Rover Halftime Report. Arkansas shooting club to knock down threes, and Marshawn Powell made him pay. Watch the adjustment now for Oklahoma in the second half. I think Lon Kruger will start pushing out on Arkansas a little bit more. Romero Osby, as we expected, was very good when he checked in for Lon Kruger. Didn't get the start tonight. Andrew Fitzgerald started in his place because of the technical foul that Osby picked up in the previous game against Northwestern State. But, hey, one of the good numbers, Jimmy, for Arkansas, if you're a fan of that program, 13 assists on 16 field goals. You know, and B.J. Young was, was held in check by Oklahoma's defense as a scorer, but he does have six assists in, that, in this ballgame. That's a career high for him, and we've only played 20 minutes. So B.J. Young, although Arkansas right now not able to really get him going offensively as a scorer, He's been a nice facilitator and a play starter. Yeah, that was one of his points of emphasis in trying to improve his game during the offseason. Went to the LeBron James skill camp, the Darren Williams skill camp, and wanted to become more of a complete playmaker, and that bearing fruit here with the assist total in the first half. You know, I used to scout in the NBA for a couple of years, college scouting, and, and one thing I would want to see and need to see from B.J. Young going forward, he, he can score, but he's not, a, he's not a great shooter, and he's only 6'3". 
You're not going to make it in the NBA unless you can flat out stroke the ball as a 6'3 kid. And secondly, defensively, he's got to get to where he can really lock down on his guy. He's got to. He is with the ball, 13 on the shot clock. Nice move through the legs. That one goes halfway down and out. But Powell right there for the putback. And Powell starting the second half off the same way he did the first. Boy, he is wearing Oklahoma out as a three-point shooter, as a guy off the bounce, and now as an offensive rebounder. Two-man game out front. Cousins over to Pledger. And by on the baseline. Nicholson made a miss and altered the shot. Wade out top. In the first half, Oklahoma's defense, all five guys at, at one point were touching the paint. Now you see them starting to push out just a little. Powell lost the handle, but that was because he was fouled underneath. And Marshawn Powell will go to the free throw line, coming off a 19.7 rebound performance in their last game against Syracuse. Mentioned his ACL injury two games into the season a season ago last year. Blew his knee out. Had the foot problem the previous year. Although he was on the all-freshman team in the SEC. That foul going against Stephen Pledger as Powell makes the first of two. Arkansas is a quick, fallible team. And Oklahoma was very good in the first half. Only fouled five times. They've already fouled twice just over a minute into the second half and you have to keep Arkansas off that free throw strike because they make free throws and now they get their defensive pressure set. Here's Pledger working against Madden. Tell you what, if, if you can get fouled, make free throws and set your defense, I don't care what defense you're setting, that's a formula for winning a lot of ball games. Blocking foul against Powell. That's his first personal. First team here in the second half, just underway, 18:40 to go in the second. Isaiah Cousins will inbound for Oklahoma. That young backboard of Cousins and Hornbeek has been pretty quiet offensively. They don't do a lot of scoring, and they don't want to turn it over a bunch either. That's the tenth turnover for Lon Kruger's crew. You know you're going to have some in this building, especially with young guards. I think the number in Long Kruger's mind right now is, well, if he can keep that turnover at, at 15 or less, I think he'd take it right now. Here's Young out top. Looking against Pledger. 10 on the shot clock. Powell. Arkansas kind of standing around a little bit here. Wade with the spin move. Nice feed underneath. And Madden missing from point blank range and commits the foul. Which, uh, it's just a, it's a bad, lazy foul and, a, and really a selfish foul by Kai Madden. I mean, Oklahoma had the rebound and he committed the flagrant one in the first half and uh, this last possession, no need for a reach around automatic. Mike Anderson, his second year on the sidelines here. At Arkansas, Jimmy, how long before he actually gets his guys to buy into the type of basketball he wants and execute the way he wants? Well, they're, they're further along now than they were a year ago. And what he lacks is an, another recruiting class. He's got two top 50 big guys coming in next year, and that's, that's the one area that you can get Arkansas is when you can get them to a power ball situation around the rim. That foul going against Young, his first personal foul as Mbai went to the bucket. Well, again, the quickness of Oklahoma's forwards Mbai and Osby to post drive you and they cover a terrific amount of ground on one or two dribbles. They, they go somewhere with their first step as a forward, which is hard to guard. And by the free throw line. Jimmy, you mentioned the recruiting class of the Arkansas Razorbacks, uh, Paul Biancardi of ESPNU, saying that uh, they got the number 14 recruiting class and landed two top 100 players. Uh, the gem of which is Bobby Portis, power forward. Yeah, about 6'9", 6'10", a face-up active kid that will fit in well with, with Mike's up-tempo pressing system. Here's Madden. Arkansas leading by five. Powell from the corner, halfway down and out. And an offensive rebound kept alive by Young. Wade from way downtown, got it! You know, he, he shoots it too good to continue to struggle. Again, he led the SEC last year in three-point percentages. It's just a matter of time 
until that game confidence is back, and it might be happening right now. Nicholson flopped, didn't get the call, and Oklahoma turns it over. Mike Anderson likes what he sees right now, that pressure defense. I think Arkansas forces more turnovers in their half-court defense than they do their full-court defense. And I think Mike Anderson's team did the same thing at Missouri as well as UAB. They are relentless and unpredictable and random when they come at you in the half-court. Foul on the drive. Wade again, got it again. I just kind of sense today, watching him make shots before the ball game, if you're making shots at 5 o'clock and it's a 6 o'clock tip, you got, got a pretty good chance of making them within the game. That's what he was doing. There's a shot maker for Oklahoma. Pledger has fallen cold tonight. Got to find the hot hand again. There it is. A little bit short. And about a step out of his range. He had room to take up the slack and still get a clean three off. And by with the Euro step. A foul called against Wade. That's going to be his first. And... Uh, Largest lead of the ball game for Arkansas at 11 points right now. 14 fouls against the Razorbacks to just one for Oklahoma. As Powell gets a breather, Clark comes in for him. Just how important is it to be in great shape when you play for Mike Anderson? Well, for anyone, really, in college ball, but, but especially the way Arkansas wants to be relentless in their pressure. And I don't think he feels like he has quite the numbers or the blue-collar mentality that he needs to really get after you like he wants to in this building someday. And by with the short jumper. And the soft touch falls. He, he does a lot of good stuff. And back at you at the other end real quick. Hunter Nicholson in transition. And I want to say the shot clock was at 33 that time wow. when Arkansas got it to drop. The fastest 40 minutes in basketball. That's the way they build a show here at the Bud Walton Arena. Fitzgerald inside, soft touch off glass. And look how quickly this time Oklahoma Jimmy sprinting back in transition. <laughs> and no, no, no time for high fives and good shot by you, huh? Young shot searching a little bit there and draws the foul. Time out on the floor, a nine-point Arkansas lead. And Wade finding his shooting stroke. And the return of one of the top shooters. The coach at Arkansas lost both of his parents to cancer battle. His mom was battling stomach cancer when he got the job at UAB, and he got to spend the last you know, few months of her life with her there in Birmingham. And with both these coaches, really, you want to talk to these guys about the Jimmy V Foundation, they will talk for, for, for a long time about it. We can see the coaching fraternity really bond in a great cause. Nicholson with a step back jumper, no good. Rebounded by Embi. How does Oklahoma get back into this game, Jimmy? Down by nine. Well, it, it, it doesn't have to be a speed game for them right now. They, they get three or four good passes. They can get a good look against Arkansas's trap. There it is. Going to try it from downtown. Not his shot. I think Embi has made a three all year. Now, remember in the first half we showed the replay where he turned down that shot and didn't settle? Well, he needs, he needs to go back and watch that replay. Young missed everything. Here comes Embi. He got out of the gate quickly for Oklahoma. Osby on the kick out to Pledger. That time he caught it in rhythm and knocked it down. Stephen Pledger, a 37% three-point shooter, makes it a six-point game. Oklahoma still very much in this, only down by six. And to me, Pledger's the one guy that you cannot help off of. I think it was B.J. Young that really he wasn't he wasn't stopping the drive and he wasn't attached to the shooter and allows Oklahoma to drop one on him. Mike Anderson calls a timeout. This Oklahoma team won't go away. They've been comfortable on the road so far this year. What happens at the other end? Bam! Arkansas scores with 33 on the shot clock. That's on those two freshman point guards not being in active motion on the release of the ball. On the release of the ball, Mark, all five guys have to be in motion. Three to the glass, two to defense. Four to the glass, one in defense. Whatever it is, all five guys have to be in sprint mode. They weren't, and it cost their team two points. Oklahoma down by six. And Arkansas turns it over, coming out of the timeout. Chance to get it down to four, and Groom's on the court. That's been nothing but good news for Oklahoma most of the night. That's one of the rare turnovers. Save the tape, folks, because Grooms last year led the conference or was one of the leaders in the Big 12. 
and assist to turnover ratio. Mark, he took the ball too deep. It is so hard to make a pass once you have stuck your head underneath the backboard. And that's where his head was. Here's Wade. Wade has caught fire of late. See if they can find him here. Bell from downtown. Rebounded by Osby. One and done at the offensive end. Clark swings it back out. Osby with the spin move and a nice one at that. Man. Makes it a four-point game. And, and Marshawn Powell should know as a defender, because that's his favorite move. He should know that that's what he's wanting to do. A whistle and a foul on the play. It's going to go against Oklahoma. Osby has the same spin move back to his left shoulder that Marshawn Powell has in his arsenal. And Powell had him leveled off right there, and you've got to anticipate he's going to come back to his strong hand. Powell didn't anticipate it. And Osby chewed him up. That foul, Jimmy, on the last play against Wagner, his first. Chance now for the Sooners to get it down to a two-point game. Brooms out top. Embi. He gets ripped by Young. Young with the left hand finishes. Well, he was really under control because he's got a little bit more of a burst than he showed right there, but he made sure he kept himself under control and covered up that ball when a little bit of contact came. Rooms kicked it out, but he was fouled in the process. That was a harder shot than it seemed to be. Oh, well, absolutely. <laughs> he gets up 18 shots a game, B.J. Young. Now watch right here. He doesn't go to a burst. He slows down and anticipates the contact, and watch the tight tuck at the end. Watch the tight tuck. Bam, right there. See how he got it against his belt line? Got, the, got it away from the hot hands of the defense in transition. Well done by B.J. Young. Made all SEC last year as a freshman. Leading score in this ball game per game for Arkansas coming in. A little over 21 per. Neal with a nice show and go. Rooms. Tough pass inside. Osby in traffic. Boy, how did he get that shot off? The guy, Nero Osby. He got it off because the guys guarding him were standing straight-legged and stiff-legged. To answer your question, no, thank that's you. how he got it off. <laughs> <laughs> like there were about eight hands contesting that shot. <laughs> it's all about the legs. All about the legs around the rim. Four-point deficit for the Sooners. There's that spin move by Powell. Oh, Jimmy, you, you read the scouting report out loud there a moment ago. We yeah. saw Osby use it, and now... Powell comes right back. You just have to watch one game film of both Osby and Powell to know that, that they love that spin move. I, I, I trust their footwork on it. They don't travel. Powell back out to Wade. They wear the shot clock right in front of their bench. It shouldn't be a problem. They have four on the shot clock. Nice post up by Powell. And one. Drew the foul on Tyler Neal. I think that's the eighth assist for B.J. Young in this ball game. And a really hard step in. I talk about how important the footwork is around the rim. And Marshawn Powell just blew his guy up from the waist down, stepping in with a duck move. Yeah, I've seen those uh, John Wooden clinics and tapes. That, that, that's a duck in UCLA, right? Yeah, absolutely. I've been hanging around you in those clinics too much, man. <laughs> Nor <laughs> normally, you're seeing that when the ball gets reversed more back up top. So that was a hard pass by B.J. Young to make. And a terrific job of Marshawn Powell getting his center of gravity lower than the guy that was guarding him. But nothing else, a great night psychologically for Marshawn Powell coming back from that ACL injury. If you're just joining us, blew his knee out a couple of games into last season and missed the rest of the year and having a great night tonight. 26 points for Arkansas and the game's leading score. Brooms. Healed with the deep jumper, and he knocks down the three ball. Buddy Healed can get it going. Arkansas runs it right back at him. Young. That jumper no good by Hornbeek. Powell active on the glass. And here comes Healed. He got ripped. And he committed the foul. Ron Kruger looks at him and says, it's okay, nice effort. But you can't spell power or power without the P. 
Welcome back, everyone, to the SEC on ESPN Arkansas, leading Oklahoma by four. This is the 27th edition of this game. Well, Saturday afternoon, ESPN, a great college hoop double dip for you. At noon, Kentucky looking to get back on track against Portland. Then at 2 Eastern time, Colorado taking on Kansas in Lawrence. All games also live on Watch ESPN. Hey, Jimmy, back to the Big 12. And what do you make of Texas' struggles early in the season here? A young team having a hard time. Huh? Yeah, I, I saw them in Maui. I, I think they really lacked toughness on the defensive end. They lacked an identity offensively without Mike Cabongo, who still not stepping on the floor for Rick Barnes right now. What, they have 17 points tonight wow. in half? It yeah. looked like to us. Nice move inside by Clark. Neal protesting the foul to no avail. And a nice feed by Young, and you mentioned it earlier. Young playing the role of playmaker tonight with a career high eight assists. We mentioned those games Saturday afternoon. I've got a, I think it'd be a really good ball game Saturday night on ESPN2. Arizona at Clemson. And the more I watch Arizona, the more I think they, they could very well be in that Final Four this mm. year in Atlanta. They have the number one effective field goal percentage in the nation right now. Arizona does 61.5 percent as a team. Creighton right behind them at 61.4 percent in their effective field goal percentage. So I, I'm going to see a high-powered, very efficient Arizona offense this Saturday at Clemson. Five-point game. Here's Brooms. And Clark. On the baseline, Neal with the jumper missing, and Osby doing his work, his cleanup work on the offensive boards once again. It was a bad zone defensive possession by Arkansas. They were not active following the pass, and they weren't active boxing off. Hadar with a three point look. Boy, it comes in. Pulled off the bench and knocks down his first attempt. Hadar, Hadar. <laughs> Walk on from Fayetteville High School. Maybe, maybe Arkansas's best jump shooter. If you just line him up and have him start knocking down shots. Well, what does it say about Mike Anderson to throw him in the game cold at this point in the second half? Now, Mike Anderson not afraid to throw him in there. Mike Anderson's style again is to get you the last six minutes of the ball game, get into your legs. It takes numbers to do it. Boy, Clam Clark putting some muscle in his hustle that time on a strong move to the bucket. Quiets the crowd and narrows the lead back to four. Oklahoma to man defense. Don't you get Pal at, at, at least a touch on every possession right now? Look the hot guy, 26. Here he is on the baseline. Hadar with a nice drive and kick to Powell, and he found him. Well, that was two, two touches by Marshawn Powell. You can't do more than what Kiko Hadar has done in the last 30 seconds. And he committed the turnover. He forced the turnover. Young on the move. Oh, and he missed the layup. Had a bad angle it. And missed the layup. Could have made it a nine-point game. A bad angle, and, and, and he got going too fast that time. Remember the last time in transition, how he kept himself under control? But Hadar right now, number 20 in white, has been Mike Anderson's most valuable guy the last two minutes. And he silences the crowd here. They're starting to make a little bit of noise. Back to a four-point game. And Jimmy, you alluded to it a little bit earlier. This is the point of the game where Mike Anderson's teams usually are able to go for the knockout punch, correct? That, that, well, that's by design. About that six-minute mark on, he thinks he can get into your legs. DJ Young drives and is fouled. I go back to the game Friday night. It was an unbelievable atmosphere in this building. And a really good Syracuse team came in here and got a win. But afterwards, the Syracuse coaches were talking about how completely spent they were physically after 40 minutes against Arkansas. DJ Young going to the foul line, a 67% free throw shooter on the year. And uh, Mike Anderson coaching up Hadar from the sidelines there. Made a three-pointer, a nice feed to Powell, and then Caused a turnover at the defensive end, all within the span of about 90 seconds. Both teams in the bonus right now. Oklahoma with four timeouts remaining, Arkansas with three. What's Oklahoma's turnover number so far? I said they had to keep it at 15 or less to stay in this game, and they're at 15 right now. So can they go the remaining 835 without a turnover? If so, Long Kruger's bunch has a chance to get a road win. I don't think they can get, I don't think it can get much higher at all than where it is. Oklahoma has a three-game winning streak on the line. And they're very comfortable on the road. They played 
seven of the first nine games this year will play seven of the first nine on the road. Healed on the baseline, stepped out of bounds. And there's the 16th turnover for the Sooners, Jimmy. I grew up in Topeka, Kansas, part of my junior high days, and I can't tell you the number of hours I spent on the driveway shooting at a basketball through a hoop pretending to be Lon Kruger. Really? He was who I modeled myself after as a young player growing up. You talk about toughness and sticking his nose right in your chest and playing every possession like it was the last one of his life. That's who Lon Kruger was, and that's how he coaches his guys. He's got a successful formula. Here's Powell. They double team him. He kicks it out to Young. By the way, I never made it to the Lon Kruger model as a player, <laughs> by the way. Just throwing that in there. Powell launches. Madden hustling underneath. And Arkansas wisely calls a timeout. We're going to stay right here, but the three-point ball falling tonight for Arkansas, shooting over 40%, 9 of 21. And Hadar with the latest. Marshawn Powell as a post passer puts it right in the shot pocket of Kiko Hadar. I mean, it was, I mean, Kiko Hadar, all he had to do was catch and go straight up in the same way with a pass delivered from Hadar to Powell. There was no wasted motion, no wasted movement on the catch into the shot pocket. Very well done, and that's why Arkansas, a big reason why their shooting percentage is good tonight from the three-point line. They have been a very good passing team, which always equates to how well you're shooting shots from the three-point line. Seven forty-six to go. Arkansas basketball under the basket. Here's Young. Hadar. Right, Powell working hard against Fitzgerald, trying to post up Jimmy and get a touch here. Now he steps out. Fifteen on the shot clock for Young. Powell, nice look yeah. inside. Madden with the layup. All created by the ball fake of Marshawn Powell because he faked it to Hadar, and when he did, the defense at the rim took the bait and wide open underneath. Well done. Now Hadar with a little full court pressure on Grooms. Grooms takes him off the bounce and one. Took him to school. And Sam Grooms will try and complete the three point play. Jonesy on the other end of the floor. Watch what Marshawn Powell does. Boom, see the ball fake right there? All that ball fake did was take 22 out of the play and allow double zero for a... Tomorrow on the women's three to see, log on to ESPNW.com. i tell you who's seeing threes right now. It's Marshawn Powell, career mm. high in points. Threes made with four tonight, and also a career high with five assists. That's hard to guard right, right there now, isn't it? An all-around game. Nice job on the glass with some key rebounds. It Grooms now at the free throw line for Oklahoma. And Grooms has bailed the Sooners out on a couple of different occasions earlier this year. Most notably that win against West Virginia at the old Spice Classic as Hadar takes a seat. Well, that was a pretty strong three-minute shift by him. A little half-court trap by the Sooners. Arkansas has been very clean with their half-court offense. Think about this, 20 assists on 25 makes and still in single digits and turnovers with only nine. Young missing the straightaway jumper. Grooms with the push. You know, Grooms, not a starter on this year, they're on this team, Jimmy, but uh, having a little bit more of an impact than the two freshman starters, Cousins and Hornbeek tonight. Well, Hornbeek had three turnovers at half. I think Lon Kruger knows Grooms is a guy that he can trust with 6.20 to go in this game. They, they can't have another turnover, I don't think, to win it. Off the switch against Powell, didn't take advantage of it. A whistle. Yep. Boy, how many times do you see that? And by stepping out of bounds, a lack of court awareness that time. And another turnover for Oklahoma. Arkansas for 17 sooner turnovers. Well defended and knocked out of bounds. And that'll be Oklahoma basketball. 6.08 to go. Put on your coach's hat for me. What do you run right here if you're Oklahoma to get a 
a bucket. I, I like Fitzgerald and uh, Imba. Their ability to get fouled to go in towards the rim. On cue. On cue, Fitzgerald took it to the rim and got fouled. That's the third foul against Clark. You know, when you break down Oklahoma in the simplest form, you got to guard those two forwards. Fitzgerald is the third one. And you have to make sure Pledger doesn't start getting loose as a shooter, and you've done your job against Oklahoma, I think, for the most part. Fitzgerald missing the foul shot, a 50% free throw shooter. Former high school teammate of uh, Thomas Robinson, formerly of Kansas, now with the Sacramento Kings at Brewster Academy in New England. Thomas Robinson right there, that National Player of the Year race last year. Boy, it, th this year it is wide open. Who's your guy? I don't know. M Mason Plumley, M Doug McDermott right now would be the top two. Marcus Smart for Oklahoma State, just a freshman. He would have yeah. to be in the National Player of the Year conversation. Zeller with the Eric Green for Virginia Tech played as well as anybody. And by with a nice hesitation step, makes it a three-point game. The Sooners aren't going away. No, not at all. Arkansas now has to run offense. And that offense needs to be heavily, a heavy dose of Marshawn Powell. As Powell on the baseline drives it, got double teamed. Good help by the Sooners. And they force the turnover. Now a chance to cut it to one or tie it with a three ball. And those have been back to back careless turnovers by Arkansas. You can sum up turnovers all season long. They're either careless or they're selfish. And Arkansas has had back to back careless turnovers. Perhaps showing a little bit of their youth, a team that starts yeah. three sophomores. How, how, do you, how do you close out a game? That's exactly what both, both young teams are going to grow through right now with just over five to go. There's Hornbeek. And by on the baseline, and it's a one-point contest. Amat Embai, the transfer from Wyoming, makes it 69-68 in Oklahoma, countering with a 7-0 run. Arkansas is in their motion, but there's not a lot of screening or hard cuts right now. As a good lift by, by Wade. Madden on the baseline, draws the foul and one. Boy, Rashad Madden muscle that one up after taking the contact. Yeah, good job by Madden. You know, he, he's a legit 6'5 and a half, but he's not an explosive 6'5 and a half. But watch him, boom, get his feet set and make sure that his feet stay underneath his shoulders in traffic. Very, very important and well done. You know, Arkansas wants to set their press up if they can make a free throw, but they don't. They won't get a chance here. Out of bounds, and Razorbacks will get a chance to set it off the inbound. Mike Anderson wanted to know why the, why the baseline official with a play right in front of him didn't make the call and the sideline official 30 feet away did. And Brooms off the high ball screen. Nice drive and kick. And by halfway down and out. And rebounded by Mickelson. Boy, normally that is a money shot by Mbai. A quiet night offensively for Young. Just two of nine from the field, but a career high eight assists. When you want, to, you want to wear people down like Arkansas wants to, you start grinding them and putting body on body in screening situations. Well, Madden might have gotten away with a little push there, but got the putback and the lead up to five now. Oklahoma with four timeouts. The next dead ball is a TV timeout, but if Lon doesn't like what he wants, he, he may take one here. That's how important every possession is right now. There's Pledger, Oklahoma standing still right now. Pledger working off the bounce, got fouled by Young and bailed out. Arkansas looking for the knockout punch. Oklahoma looking to remain upright. Back with more after this. In here, uh, very hard, as all of us are, and we'd like to send out the best to his family and prayers. Well, it was, it was, it was crushing news for all of us in college basketball. Uh, Rick Majerus is a guy that kind of took me under his wing when I was first starting off, 33, 34 years old as, a, as an analyst, and I learned so much ball from him. Offense and defense, and really how I view the game a lot of times is shaped by what Rick Majerus taught me and how he viewed the game. And Such a lovable guy, was a, was a hard guy to play for at times, but boy, his players now 
and great loyalty, two-way loyalty between he and his players. Yeah. Approaching three minutes to go, five-point ball game. Four on the shot clock for Powell. I don't think they know it. They've got to get one up here. And they turn it over, a shot clock violation. And there again, Arkansas looking for that closer, Jimmy. Who is the closer on this team if they've got one? T tonight it's Marshawn Powell. Okay. It's Marshawn Powell and B.J. Young. And boy, that cannot happen coming out of a timeout. Especially on your end of the floor with three minutes to go and not get a shot up because of a late clock. That's the first turnover by Young tonight against eight assists. Romero Osby going to work in the paint over Mickelson easy and makes it a three-point contest. Osby now with 22 points. And again, his ability to go somewhere with his first step and his first bounce, Arkansas doesn't have a check for. Hey, look who's on the floor right now for Oklahoma. It's all the starters from last year, plus Emba. Hey, experience. Lon Kruger's going with it. Here's Wade on the wing. Where is on the shot? Where clock. is the Marshawn Powell touch on this possession? Madden trying to find one. There's Powell. Did they draw it up that way, Jimmy? No, they did not. <laughs> but at least they had the presence to get the ball to Powell. He's the guy. Madden with a spinning assist, leaving his feet. <laughs> And a good job by Powell not to run to the ball and leave himself in a catching position. Osby launches. And by with the rebound. Pledger. Strong on the three. Mickelson clears. I didn't like Osby taking that shot. Osby is killing people right now off the bounce. And he settled that time for a jump shot. And now the clock an ally of Arkansas. And a 10-second violation as Madden walked it up a little bit. Madden walked it up a little bit too casually. Wow. As soon as you get possession in your head, you have to know that the count is on. And if it's not in your head, just simply look up at the shot clock. You weren't being pressured. A mental mistake by Arkansas at a crucial time. Let's see what Grooms does here. Still plenty of time left for the Sooners. And by working on the baseline, rolls in, and the soft touch falls. It's a three-point game, and Lon Kruger wants to talk things over. If I'm Lon Kruger, I don't do anything else the remaining 122 of this game except let Osby and Embi catch it, face up, and just on the shot clock, I think you're aggressive. You move, you cut, you set hard screens, and you stay aggressive on the offensive end, and you don't play tentative basketball right now. Yeah, they almost looked a little tentative they, they, on that they, last they sure possession. Did. And I think Marshawn Powell and B.J. Young, those are your two guys. And you go to your two guys at this part of the ball game. Sam Clark guarding Young. Off the screen, it's Madden. Now Powell and Young have to want to be the guy right now. They have to demand the basketball. Powell, a junior, Young, a sophomore. Two of the leaders, Powell put it on the deck. Into the paint. Back out to Young, eight on the shot clock. They're a little disjointed right now. Tough right. shot goes by B.J. Young. Just the ability to go get a basket. Pledger got it. A big answer for three. Makes it a two-point game with plenty of time to go. Oklahoma using another timeout. They've now got two remaining guys with figure prominently on this possession as well. There's a look at the reset yep. and the timeout and situation as well. Both teams in the bonus, so there are yep. no fouls to give. Ledger just hit his third three ball of the night, right at his season average of nine points. Oklahoma going to show a little full court pressure here, Jimmy. First time they've shown it. They have not been afraid to full court press so far this season on the road. They did it at ORU and got them a comeback victory with that pressure. They're going to put Madden on the free throw line, a 71% free throw shooter on the year. Was that fouled by design? Were they trying to gamble? I'm, I'm not sure I quite understand what happened there, Jimmy. Well, I, I would think Long Kruger told his guys, let's try to get the inbound steal. And if it's not there, let's go ahead and make Arkansas close this thing out with free throws because, I mean, he wasn't upset about it. It looked like he got exactly what he wanted. And does the gamble pay off? Yes, it does. Madden, a 71% free throw shooter, misses. Oklahoma with a chance for the tie. 
after virtually trailing all night. I'm telling you, I drive the ball. Grooms on the clear out. He got it blocked. Pledger for the lead. Got it. Oklahoma by one. 23 seconds to go. Arkansas not calling timeout. Madden. Young. They're going to go for it. Young with the shot. Got it to go. What an answer. BJ, big shot maker and taker. With Osby and with Embi, what is the choice you think of Lon Kruger here? I, I think you drive the ball with one of those forwards. And at worst, you're going to get yourself to the free throw stripe. I, I mean, that's been your most successful offense so far. Embi 22 and Osby are the two guys. 22 and 24 are your best post drivers. And you have time to get this ball up the floor. Arkansas is not going to let him just bring it up, though, without pressure. They're going to make him work. Gonna have to use a little clock here. Grooms guarded by Wade. Pressure without fouling right now. Nine seconds to go. Where's the forward touch? This should be a drive. Osby with the jumper. Off the mark. Tipped up no good. And Arkansas's Powell controls the rebound. Mark, that should have been a drive by Osby. I'm telling you. That should have been a drive. I think Osby settled. Lon Kruger went exactly where he wanted with the ball. But the success of Osby tonight and Embi, I think, has been their ability to make post drives and at least get fouled. And that's kind of a challenge shot out of Osby. And I, I, if, if you're Arkansas, you take that every time over his ability to ball fake you, lift you, and drive the ball to the rim. Now the 78% free throw shooter on the season at the line. 31 tonight, and the meter still running. Oklahoma has a timeout. And Powell can match his jersey number with this next free throw attempt. If Lon wants it, he's got to make sure he has the, the quick attention of the official. Powell gets both. And they're going to actually Arkansas, Arkansas call timeout with 2.4 to go. And you know that Arkansas is going to make them use time to get it up court. Well, ideally, Mark, you're not going to, you don't have time if you're Oklahoma to dribble this ball up the floor to get off a quality shot. You have time for, for two, maybe, maybe a third dribble before a shot. But for certainly, you tell your guys you have time for a catch and two dribbles. Now, what most teams will want to do here is throw the ball in some form or fashion, at least get it to midcourt, to, to the midcourt or beyond with a catch and a possible kick out. Pledger is the danger guy right now that Arkansas has to guard. If Oklahoma has a, a home run pass where you catch it and kick it out, you cannot leave Stephen Pledger in this situation. No matter where the ball goes, if you're assigned to Pledger, you do not leave Pledger. Stephen Pledger has shot well, especially here in the second half. He's at four three balls tonight, four of seven overall. Now, the other argument is for Arkansas, do you foul? You're up three. I don't. I do not foul. I think you put losing into the equation. The, re the reason why I say that, if you foul, and you got a chance for a made three free throw, a tip out, and a three-point shot actually beats you. That's the only way losing comes into the equation, I think, if you foul. That's something you've got to practice, too, You have right? to practice it, and if you're Oklahoma, you think, if they are going to foul, get into a shot motion for sure. Tyler, I, don't, I trust my defense right now, Jonesy. Tyler Neal running the baseline. Makes the pass to midcourt, picked off. They get it back, and the game's over. Arkansas wins. The Razorbacks snap Oklahoma's three-game winning streak.